have you seen this ad on your feed? Uh, this is an ad for Hero Wars. So if you haven't seen this ad on your feed before, um, they do come in a variety of different ads. Um, and as you can see, like it looks kind of fun. You defeat vultures, you get a pet puppy, you go on walks with your pet puppy, and they get bigger and stronger. Looks kind of fun. Um, there's a couple of varieties of this ad. Um, here you take on some ogres, um, you start off as level 25, you know, very nice. Then you add their level or soul to your level. Pretty good idea, times two things, so a bit of math involved as well, it's not too bad. And then there's a bit of a puzzle behind it where if you do the math in the right order, you get to defeat the ogre. So, not a bad ad. These puzzles actually look kind of fun. Um, and then there's a, a different variety of these puzzles where you start off as a skeleton, see uh, some lady turns into a giant spider, and then you gain their soul. So similar concept, you gain your opponent's soul and you go through a bunch of these different puzzles, um, gaining all their souls. So we're just going to let the ads play out and then we'll, we'll discuss whether or not these Hero Wars is a gem game or a scam. So, yes. John, and then what's the thing I notice with a lot of these games is they always try to make these tiny little mistakes to be like, oh no, it was obvious, you should have gotten the sword and then done this. So they do try to catch you out with like, you should have done this instead of this so that you want to like prove them wrong. And if you look at that scroll bar, it looks like there's a lot of these little mini games involved. Um, so here's another one, giant ogre spits into a vat of acid and you know, then you have to save your partner, friend or girlfriend. Um, so there's a lot of different varieties. I think in this um, video we'll only be sh showing I think three or four of the varieties. Um, there's this one as well. Um, I'm not sure entirely what this one's supposed to show. Does she only absorb level four to nines and you got rejected and then beat up for it? Um, but again, similar concept. You start off as level one, you gain a weapon or item that makes you a higher level and then you gain the soul meters of your opponents um and that's basically what all the ads tend to show you you know a bunch of like very light math not hectic math so this one's a bit different it shows that you've got like superpowers that can take on multiple enemies at once which is pretty interesting um these ads look kind of fun um but you know sometimes you see these ads like this and you do try it out yourself and the gameplay just doesn't quite match the ad um, so what we'll be doing in this video is I went and played Hero Wars um, for about 40 hours so I could give an honest review about it and you don't have to play this game yourself to find out if you know your time is worth it and if you're going to see all these interesting puzzles or not. So we'll take an in-depth review of what the game says the game is about in these ads, if the game is really about that and you know what the game is actually about and then we'll be rating it on a scam or gem scale um again you know the game shows you a silly mistake you should have gone and defeated more enemies before taking on the big boss um and i think that's all the ads i've managed to get okay and then you get into there's so here's the actual puzzles from the game um there are nine of these puzzles in total yeah in the entire game i've looked through it Head to toe, there is nine puzzles like this in total, and these are the, all the puzzles. Um, so you only get access to these puzzles after um, defeating a limited amount of um, battles. So you've got to go through like some storyline quest where you get a bunch of stars, and then if you get enough stars, then you get to access the puzzle. Um, so we'll just be going through all nine puzzles. This is now the second of the nine. Um, so as you can see, they're not too complex. Um, and then you get a bunch of different rewards for them as well. You get uh, hero shards, which allow you to level up heroes, some weapons. Um, it comes with a bit of story at the end as well um, that you can look into. Um, it's just about like saving people, saving cats, going and fighting bad guys where there's poison. Nothing too hectic. Um, and again, as you can see, the puzzles you know, are pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, you know, there's not too much about them, so.
and yeah, you, that sword really means nothing like as you can see you're just getting a bunch of different items that allow you to upgrade your hero but the items do take a long time to um stack together so you'll get like two sword items and then you need 10 of them to upgrade your weapon once and things like that it's a uh, it's very similar to a lot of other games out on the market um star wars galaxies of galaxy of heroes um is one of them so as you can see there in the previous but you needed 45 stars um in order to get this um puzzle they call it or it symbolizes a puzzle piece um and you know, solving the puzzle gives you bonus loot so i think you get two out of ten loot items and if you solve this then you get bonus loot um it's not again the greatest of loot you can get it within 10 minutes of farming on the main game the uh, hero shards that you get aren't too bad um but again you can get them even if you lose the puzzle um and they do start getting slightly more complex but again as i said there there are only nine of these throughout the entire game so they don't get extremely complex um towards the end like maybe if there were 30 of them or 40 of them then they'll be they'll get insanely complex near the end but unfortunately that's not the case um and it takes quite a while to get to these games as well um, the last game, the ninth one, took me about 40 hours of gameplay to get through. Um, as you have to like have quite strong characters to get all those stars in the mission battles. Um, so if you're familiar with like Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes uh, or similar games like that where you have five characters and then you have a 5v5. Um, so it's essentially a 5v5 where you've got a tank or two, um, some support characters, some DPS characters, and then you've got to defeat the enemy support characters, DPS characters, and such. Um, and it's a very grinding heavy game. I do show a bit of that later in this video, where there's a lot of grinding. Um, yeah. The puzzles are quite interesting, but as I said, there's not enough of them. If there were more, about, you know, 40 to 100 of these puzzles, scattered throughout the game it would be a bit more worth your while um if you are interested in this game because of the puzzles we will be talking about what the game actually is um so you can see if you do want to play it based on what that is um but it, it is also very um microtransaction heavy game there's constantly ads for microtransaction and in order to like speed up the game you know, so you can farm faster, you need to have like a VIP level, um, which you need to pay more microtransactions for, and the VIP level will give you access to more things, but again, most people are free to play, and you know, in my own opinion, if you're not, like, if you do want to pay money for something, it wouldn't be for a game like this, it would be more along the lines of, you know, a full play, full paid game where you pay and then you have access to the entire game but that's becoming quite scarce nowadays um for example you'll buy a game and then a month or two later it comes out with dlc that costs almost as much as the, the entire game um it feels like you're buying you know bits and pieces of the game which isn't really right um so as you can see in this um puzzle we do fail it quite a few times and there is no real punishment for it you could have failed this a hundred times or once or passed it on the first try but there is no repercussions um you'll see there i still get all of the loot um so it makes the puzzles feels quite pointless um and then you can battle um so if you see look at this you'll see as i said it's you've got your two tanks in the front and then i've got two support ca or dps characters followed by a healing character um and this is what the main i guess gist of the game is or the main storyline is you progress and fight a bunch of different enemies on a three three skull tiers and if you are interested in that puppy from the first ad this is the way you get it it's not that great it's not like you rescue it from vultures and you save his life and it's forever loyal to you um and it doesn't grow up either um so you see you get to choose between essentially three different pets and then you get the pet and you level the pet up and it stays exactly the same um what is it skin throughout the game there's no different adult skin because you've raised it so well um okay 
and this is now summoning of a hero so what it is the the summoning does look pretty good like they did put a bit of effort into how it looks when you summon a new character so i do give them props for that um and there's a lot of quests to keep you constantly engaged like i nearly got addicted to this game if i can say so myself like it is very addictive because you've constantly got special events you've constantly got new tasks to do um when you start the game you've got an adventure begins um set of tasks that gives you different things because you've just started out the game that give you a bunch of energy boosts um and a bunch of chests that contain items for your heroes um but the game does start getting tedious after a while i think it started there's a bit of story here as you can see as well um but the game does start getting tedious about i think i got I got bored of the game about three hours in um, and there's a lot of grinding. I think progress halted for me about five hours in so then you had to start like really grinding. Um, again, this is the main part of the game. You pick your different characters um, and then you can see the different awards that you're getting. Um, you go in with your characters, you can switch out characters. Um, there's a lot of different characters which is you know it is one of those games where you've got about a hundred or so different characters that you've essentially got to grind um shards for level them up and you know grind items for them so you can level them up in like three different ways i think this game has overdone it a bit there's about i think eight different right like different paths in which you can upgrade heroes um so it does become quite a bit I'm not sure if you can hear it or not, but there's barely any music in this game as well. Um, now and then there'll be a bit. As that previous animation is pretty cool. You've got some, like they did put an effort into some of the attack animations, but later on you can, you, you know, it's a grinding game. You don't really want to see the attack animation. So you just end up putting it off. Again, a bunch of loot that you get for doing various things. I can't remember what this was for. I think this was for just having gotten to a certain level. Um, you get a bunch of skin stones, upgrade skins. There was the advent calendar for Christmas. Those eggs I just received um, were to summon more pets. Again, you get um, pet shards. So you can upgrade your pet. Um, not uh, and then at level i think what was this 15 you unlock the tower so the tower is another gameplay aspect that isn't too bad in this game but again if you clicked on the game because of the ad you're not too interested in this um you know you get a bunch of different daily things to get as you saw in the previous but um there is a lo lot of like microtransactions like 14 dollars and things and then they'll give you like a five dollar one and they'll be like oh this one's like 80 percent off it was i don't know fifty dollars and now it's only five dollars so but let's be real we all know that it was always five dollars um each day you do get a free i can't remember what that's called but you get to summon a free hero every day so that's you know for the free to play players it's not too bad but you'll see now like the amount of shards you get if you already have the hero is ridiculous um I think you only get, you know, I got six shards for this hero and you need like 30 to upgrade it to like level two, I think. And again, there's like five stars. So you, you it's quite a bit to just level them up. Um, and it, it's really slow. So another thing that does halt progress is you're only allowed to upgrade your levels hero to your, I don't know, can't remember what they call it, class level. So in the top left hand corner you'll see I'm level 18, so that means my heroes are only allowed to be level 18. So you, you don't just have to grind hero levels and hero items, you have to grind your own class level. Um, so this is the tower, I think I do not start it yet, yes. So I'm going to show the arena now. So the arena is your PvP where you go against um, another team's five heroes and then you take them on with your five heroes so you do get a preview of the heroes um, so if you're quite well versed in what a different hero looks like it doesn't go too bad um, and this isn't really fun for me um, as you can see like there isn't really anything you do it's all automatic like you don't click on anything you just start the battle and then it automatically goes by itself until one of you win or one of you lose and then you get, you know, you level up or you rank up in the arena and 
as you can see, and then you as you can see like you you rank up a bit and then you get different rewards based on your rank um and then you can't attack immediately again in the arena you have to wait about 30 to 40 seconds or you can pay gems to speed that up but realistically speaking if you you want to save your gems up for fighting or i mean buying more characters and um buying more shards so that you can level up your characters um so this is the tower you there are three diff so it consists of i think 50 floors and each floor has a possibility of three different things a battle um which is what's happening now so you pick your heroes and heroes health and energy meter persist throughout the tower so if one hero dies um, you can't really use them again in the tower unless you buy resurrections for them. This is a bit more fun because um, you can click and automate this if you want to, but it's it's not that great either. Um, and then you get to this part here. I can't remember what it's called. Oh, you get tower points as well, and tower points you use to gain money to upgrade your heroes as well as points to use in the tower shop. And then you can use the skulls that you get from winning battles to increase your damage, increase your defense, um, give a hero more energy, resurrect a hero, things like that. Um, and the third option will come along shortly, but then there'll be a battle in between on floor four. Um, once you get to floor 50, what you do get is you get to open a chest and you get for each skull that you have at the end that you didn't spend, you get some bonus money, but it's it's not a lot. Like, I think you get like a hundred thousand for doing like big things, and then this if you like save up, I think twenty skulls, you only get like four thousand gold. Um, so it's not a lot. It's not really worth it. Um, and then the last floor is a chest, and a chest gives you a variety of three different items. Um, gold, tower coins, or random item that can be used to upgrade your heroes. Um, the items are not too bad. If your VIP level I think 6 or higher, then you can unlock more chests, but you don't really want to be VIP level 6. Um, so this is the expedition. It's basically you send your heroes away to farm or murder these goblins, and then you get items after a set amount of time. Um, again, very common in a lot of games that look like this. I think, what was that game? Um, it'll come to me. Uh, Monster Hunter also has a different a system like this where you send out your um, pets and things and they will go and fight on your behalf and you not really can access them in a set amount of time. Um, the rewards for this aren't the best. I think they do get better. Um, the higher level you become but again it's not really too much effort you pick your heroes um ideally don't want to pick them like i'm doing now you just want to click the button auto and it will auto pick them for you um there's no real penalty to this either so it's not really too important to pick heroes properly because you just pick your heroes and then go about it um as you can I think you can hear as well there is no music in this part of the game like it's a very silent game this as well um you feel like if you're playing this game it's probably going to be playing on the side while you're watching a youtube video or listening to music or something like that you're not going to really be listening to the music of this game um so this is the can't remember what this is called this is the outlands um, you essentially, it's a big boss, so uh, PVE, I think, but you've got one big boss and you get all your characters that you have available and then you take on the boss. So just one boss, no minions, and the boss gets harder and harder as you progress and the rewards you get are okay and the, the, you get, the rewards become more and more as time as you get higher levels. Um, again, not the most fun part of the game. I think the tower and the uh, dungeons are probably the better parts of this game. Um, and then you can open a chest, get, you know, Outland coins, you can be used in the Outland shop or intelligence skin stones or skin stones, depending on what you're doing. 
and that's just used to upgrade skins which give you more powers and things like that so this is the outland store where you can buy shards and other chests and items um, there are three different types of outland challenges which give you different um, skin shards for the different types of heroes and they do restrict you on your heroes so you've got the spider which will and the ogre and that's about it um so then you have to join a guild to access this next part and then you access dungeons and you can get titans and level up titans so again a whole nother leveling up system that you need to grind for um so you need to grind for like that vial and that level up your titans and you um harvest like these titan gems that will allow you to like summon more titans and um yeah and then you also do need your heroes to fight her as well um but it's not that hard like if you're able to access this your heroes are able to defeat more than your titans are able to so do not worry too much about that if you do intend to play this bit of the game um the main focus on this is trying to get stronger titans um and get the those titan shards i think they're called and titan shards are contributed for a whole guild so if you're i think 20 people in the guild each of you contribute titan shards and if you reach a certain limit like this one 1800 then you get more titan summoning stones and if you want to you can spend more money to get valkyrie favor to make it easier to play the dungeon um the dungeon does give you access to these shards so you can upgrade another path of your heroes to upgrade more aspects um okay i think there isn't much uh, and then you've got the guild um rewards that i spoke about you the more active you are the more points you contribute to your guild and the more rewards you get as a guild it's not the greatest of rewards though so it's not too reliable um i wouldn't rely on it if you're trying to fall and as you can see it's very quick fights these there's not too much effort in them okay um so you get those flasks and each time you do fight a floor so there's a bunch of floors i've probably thousands of floors each time you do fight a new floor um that you've not fought before you get double the amount of items and loot and what happens is um, every day your titan's health refreshes and then you can start again and every time you get to I think a 10th level it takes you back so if you get to level 20 then you can start the following day on level 10 and if you get to level 100 you get to start on level 90 in the following day so it's essentially just constantly going deeper and deeper in the dungeon and not really having to redo much um, and yeah, you get double the amount of shards for the first time you complete it. And the rest of the game is just a lot of grinding. Like, an extreme amount of grinding. Um, and that's it. I've played this game for about 40 hours to get to level 55. Um, with an extreme amount of grinding, the game did get very tedious. As I spent just hours and hours grinding for items so that I could level up certain heroes, so that I could get further in the quests. So that I could get more items to level up more heroes. Um, but that's basically the gist of the game. So if this is what you're into, then the game would be for you. But if you did want to play the game because of the ads, it's probably not for you. Um, as a game on itself, I'd probably give it a 4 out of 10. Um, a lot of similar games exist. Um, you'd probably rather want to go for a game you're interested in. Um, so if you're interested in Star Wars, you probably want to go for the Star Wars version. If you're interested in Marvel, you'd probably want to go for their version. I wouldn't really go for one like this where it's not characters you relate to or really want. Um, you know, there's not a lot of features in the ads that are in the game. The main one is those nine different mini games I showed you, but there's nothing else. You don't save your dog from a vulture. Uh, you don't you know fight level twos um, and gain their souls to become a higher level that would probably be one of the more fun parts of the game but unfortunately it's not in it um it's unfortunate i feel like they only added those nine mini games so that they could cross some legal barrier to 
say that, oh, no, it's not really a scam. We do have it in the game. Um, but yeah, in my country, I think it is still illegal because for something to be um, for something to be an advertising scam, it has to be misleading and misrepresent what the product is, which to me is what those ads are. They misrepresent what you're playing because you probably have like 10% of those ads is actual gameplay, but most of it really isn't. Um, so now we will be ranking this on the scammer meter. Um, and there it is. There's the final result. If you want to see more videos like this, like and subscribe, comment what other videos you want to see. And, um, yeah, if you don't want to waste your time playing a game that you don't need to, just let me know and I will look into games like that and make a video like this. Thank you. Bye-bye.